Namaste. Welcome to yoga. We're going to start in a tabletop position, hands and knees. Just a reminder to listen to your body, to breathe when needed. From tabletop position, we're going to tuck your toes under and lift up the downward facing dog. Just ease into the stretch. We're going to walk those hands back to join your feet. We're going to turn your toes out slightly when you sit down into the squat, the chair squat position. So just let your sit bones drop. Here we go. <laughs> Nice back. So looking forward, pull your belly button in. Then from here, we're going to slowly bring your hands down the mat. We're going to take a look at the top of the mat and we're going to walk those hands forward, shoulders over your wrists, and make your way to plank. We're going to slowly lower yourself straight on four point staff. Big toes together, back in the child's pose. So pull your belly button in. And then we're going to tuck your toes under, back and down facing dog. We're going to walk those hands back to join your feet. We're going to turn your toes out, slightly sit down to that squat position. So it's not a chair because the placement of your feet and yours is much more lower. Pull your belly button in. Just ease into it. Then you're going to take a look at the top of your mat. We're going to walk those hands forward. And you're going to make your way back to plank pose. Drag your feet back. We're going to do a slight drop. Press back to plank. And then all the way down for four point staff, all the way down. So squeeze those triceps. Big toes together, back into child's pose. We're gonna tuck your toes under, back into downward facing dog. We're gonna step the right foot back. And then draw the right foot back for downward facing dog. Step your left foot back. Again, we're just warming up. Bring your left foot back down. We're gonna come forward to plank. Do a slight drop, use your triceps, back to plank. Now here's all the way down for four point staff, lower yourself down. Big toes together, back into child's pose. We're going to tuck your toes under, back and down, facing dog. Last time, we're going to walk those hands back to join your feet. Turn your toes out, sitting down in that squat position, and getting all those crickles out, heads above your heart. We're going to bring your hands down on the mat. Walk those hands forward, make your way to plank. So find that plank pose. Do a slight drop, use your triceps, press back to plank. Here's four point stop all the way down. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Big toes together, back into child's pose. And then we're gonna walk those hands back into tabletop. So find yourself where we start a class. We're gonna wake up those hips. So we're gonna shift slowly over to your right side and bring your left knee out. So it's a spire hydrant. We're gonna bring the left knee back. Shift over to your left side, we're gonna bring the right knee out. And we're gonna come back to tabletop. Now we're gonna bring, shift over to your left side, right side, bring your left knee out. You can choose to stay with your left leg, left knee straight or bent, it's your choice. And then we're gonna come back down to tabletop, shift over to your left side. Right knee's gonna come out. Again, you can keep the right knee straight or bent. And then we're gonna come back down. So now we're gonna shift over to your left, right side, pardon me, and bring your left knee out. We're gonna extend your left leg. Then we're gonna bring your left knee back. We're going to shift over to your left side. Right knee's going to come out and then straighten your right leg. And then we're going to bring your right knee back. So now we're going to stay in tabletop and you're going to send your left leg straight behind you. Straight up. Level out your pelvis. Then we're going to bring your left knee back. Step your right foot back. Right leg is straight. We're going to level out your pelvis. We're going to come back. We're going to come into one set of spinal balance. So we're going to bring your left leg, right arm off the mat back to tabletop, left arm, right leg, back to tabletop. Now we're going to keep your hands here and extend your left leg back. We're going to bring your left leg out to the side. We're going to make a rainbow. So you know that arc and all the way over to your right side, then slowly coming back up. So really just think about that arc, half a circle, touch up to your right side. And then all the way over to your left, we're gonna do one more. So third rainbow here, nice and slow. Again, you're just really firing up those hip muscles and then back down. So you're gonna level yourself, square yourself, kick your right foot back. We're gonna bring your right toe out to the right side and then that nice arc. Oh, all the way to your left side and slowly come back to your right. Again, you can easily rush through it, but you really wanna use your muscles. Again, finishing up your second one here. 
third one, we're going to come over starting at your right side and then over to your left. Nice and slow, control it. Back to center and come back down. From here, we're going to tuck your toes under. You're going to bring your knees off the mat to hover, so it's a lot of core. Holding, hovering, tabletop. We're going to walk your hands forward, shoulders forward, forward, follow to make your way into plank. Here's your plank, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Here's four plank stack. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Big toes together, back into child's pose. We're going to tuck your toes under, back to down facing dog. We're going to step your right foot back. And then we're going to step your right foot through his lower lunge. So both sides toes facing forward. Keep your arms back and up, come to high lunge. So draw your shoulders back. We're going to hands on heart center. Hands down the mat for lower lunge. Step back to plank. Shifting forward, here's your chaturanga. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Cobra. You can keep your hands on the mat. Bring your hands off the mat for active cobra. Back to down facing dog. We're going to step the left foot back. And bring your left foot through for lower lunge. And then we're going to sweep your arms up for high lunge. Think about where the right knee is. And try center. We're going to lower yourself down. Step back to plank. We're going to do a slight drop. Press back to plank. Shift forward. Here's your chattering. You can squeeze your triceps. Cobra. Active cobra. Your choice. And then back to down facing dog. We're going to walk those hands back to join your feet. But we're going to keep your toes pointed forward and sitting back into a chair. So drop your sit bones back. It's up your heart. Weight's more in the balls of your feet. So feel free to let your toes wiggle. Sink down through your hips. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to come to forward fold. Lift your sit bones up. And sit back in the chair. So weight in the balls of your feet. Come on, roll your shoulders back. Heads above your heart. Sink through your hips. Think about your knees are tracking. We've got five to go here. Engage your core. Come on, suck your belly in. Four, three, two, and one. This time we're going to use your legs to press up. Tall mountain with or without a back bend. Swan dive all the way down. Take a look at the top of your mat. We're going to walk your hands forward. Use your plank. Do a slight drop. Press back to plank. Shifting forward. Here's your chaturanga. Root of cobra or active cobra if you like. And back to down facing dog. We're going to step the right foot back. Lower lunge, so both sides toes facing forward. Make your way to high lunge, however you want to transition. Hands at our center. Figure that towards the ceiling. Now we're going to come into a balance. We're going to shift the weight on the right foot, bring your left foot off the mat. Doesn't matter where you go, I want you to just shift the weight onto your right foot and bring your left foot off the mat. Take a moment to adjust. Feel your balance wherever you are. Doesn't matter. Because we're going to step your left foot right to join your right, feet together. And then sitting into chairs. So squeeze your thighs, squeeze your legs together. It's just like chair, it's just a different foot position. One, sink through your hips, heads above your heart. And we're hands down to the feet. Step your left foot back, here's lower lunge. Then make your way to high lunge, whatever that looks like for you. Find your high lunge position. Hands to heart center, hands down to the mat. We're gonna step back to plank. Lowering yourself straight, lowering yourself slight, drop, press back to plank, another slight drop, press back to plank, shift forward, here's your chaturanga, when squeeze cobra, active cobra or not, it's your choice, back to down facing dog, and then we're going to step your left foot back, so left foot back, and then bring your left foot through for lower lunge, both sides toes facing forward, make your way to high lunge, whatever that looks like for you, your transition, find your high lunge position. Think about your left knee. Pull the belly button in. Now we're going to come into a balance. So shift the weight onto your left foot and just bring your right foot off the mat. Doesn't matter where you go. You're just working in the transitions. Balance is so important. We don't tend not to spend a lot of time thinking about it, but it's really important as we age. And then all we're going to do is place your right foot and join your left feet together and sitting back in the chair. So whatever that chair looks like for you. It's up your heart. You don't have to be high. You don't have to be high. But take the weight more in the ball to your feet. We'll pull those abs in. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to press up to tall mountain. Weight through that back bend. We're going to swan dive all the way down. Hands down the mat. We're going to step the right foot back. And then step your left foot back. Downward facing dog. 
We're gonna walk those hands back to join your feet. Just forward fold. We're gonna turn your toes out, though heels in, and come down in that squat position. So find that squat. Head up your heart. Pull your belly button in. Pull for five, four, three, two, and one hands down the mat. We're gonna come back up in a forward fold, so means we're gonna walk your feet hip level apart. Toes pointed forward, heels behind you. Let your head hang out for a moment. And then draw your knees back. Really challenge the stretch here. Listen to your hamstrings. And then we're gonna walk those hands up. Here's your mountain position. We're gonna walk those hands back down. So listen to how your hamstrings are feeling. We're gonna take a look at the top of your mat. We're gonna walk your hands forward into plank. Plank, we're going to come down to our knees and walk your heads back into tabletop. So tabletop position, toes are going to stay tucked under. We're going to extend your left leg back. Pull your belly button in. We're going to bring your left knee back. Extend just your right foot back. So again, keep those left toes tucked under. And come back. Spine, one set of spinal balance, which is right arm, left leg off. We're going to come back down. Left arm, right leg back. We're going to shift over to your right side. Bring your left knee out for a fire hydrant with or without a straight leg. It's your choice. We're going to come back down. We're going to repeat that once more. So tabletop, shift over to your right side and bring your left knee out, whether it's bent or straight. And then we're going to come back to tabletop. Then we're going to shift over to your left side. We've got two of these. So we're going to kick your right foot out or lift your right knee up. It's your choice. It's your fire hydrant. And then we're going to come back to tabletop, repeating it once more. So again, shift over to your left side, bring the right knee out or kick your right leg out. And then we're going to come back to tabletop. Now we're going to kick your right foot out, point your toes, we're going to do three rainbows. So we're going to your left foot, big toe out to the side, and slowly drawing that arc, that arch to the right side, and then nice and controlled over to your left, that's one complete. We're gonna go over to the right, as far over, reach. And then we're gonna slowly come back to your left. We finished our second one, we've got one more. So nice and slow. Quicker doesn't mean it's easier. And then slowly coming over, and then back. And then we're gonna shift over to your left side. Left toe stuck under, we're gonna extend your right leg. Point your right toes. And then nice and slow, really engage. So go nice and slow, really be mindful. Use your muscles. Going quicker, you tend to sacrifice the form of the pose and you tend to hurt something else. Again, nice and slow. We're starting, we're on our second one. Over to your left side, nice and slow to your right. Go for the tag. Once more, we're going to go over to your left. Come on, go for the reach. And then over to the right. And go back to tabletop. Now we're going to stretch it out. So we're going to walk your hands forward. We're going to tuck your toes under, come back and down for some dog. We're going to step the left foot back and bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Come down to your right knee. Let your left knee roll aside for lizard. So we're just going to stretch your left hip a bit. You can come off that right knee if you like. Come down the elbows and forearms. We just let that external rotation of that hip happen. Remembering to breathe. Make your way back to the downward facing dog. So whatever that looks like for you. And then we're going to step the right foot back. And then bring the right foot outside your right hand. So it's a diagonal lunge. You come down to your left knee. And then let that right knee roll to the side. Again, just listening to that hip. Challenging it absolutely. Especially since hopefully you've warmed it up with those fire hydrants, spinal balances, and those rainbows. You know that this is your side, you're going to spend time here. Extra time. Others are going to slowly come up. And then we're going to make our way back to down facing dog. We're going to come forward to plank. And then all the way down for four point back. We're going to squeeze, 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 squeeze. Big toes together. We're going to come back in the child's pose. We're going to tuck your toes under, back to down facing dog. We're going to step the right foot back. And then bring the right foot through for lower lunge. Turn that left foot, 40 degrees, maybe 90. Bring those hands forward for warrior one and then open to warrior two. 
So if you need to, bring your hands to your hips and straighten your right leg. So here's a check, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Tailbone is tucked under, and you're really pressing the outside of your left little toe, pull your left knee back. As you take your right knee into a lunge position, it's gonna track towards that second and third toe. You can keep your hands here and draw them out long. You can turn so your palms are facing up, it's your choice, but tuck your tailbone under. Draw your ears away from your shoulders. So for more of your two, we're gonna reach forward. We're gonna flip it, bring your right hand up to the ceiling and left hand's gonna come behind your left leg. Feel free to straighten your right leg if you wanna break. Listen to your body for reverse warrior. You're just giving that right side of your body a good stretch. You're gonna pull your left knee back. Now we're gonna bring your right arm inside that thigh. Take a moment to stack your shoulders. Here is hot angle. When reaching from your sternum out. And then we're gonna still come back to reverse warrior. So take your right hand forward, we're gonna flip it. Here's your reverse warrior. Feel free to straighten your left leg. Right, so feel free to straighten your right leg. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna bring hands on either side of your right foot, turn those left toes forward to make your way to lower lunge position and step back to plank. Because if we can do it, we always try to sneak in a plank or two. Drop down, press back up. There's four point stack, come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then back into our facing dog. We're gonna step that left foot back. So you're stepping your left leg back and then bring your left foot through from lower lunge. Flip your right foot. Reach your hands forward. Here's your warrior one and then warrior two. Tuck your tailbone under. Hands on your hips if you want. Straighten your left leg. Ears over shoulders. So your choice. Take your left late knee in a lunge position. Arms are long. Palms facing out, palms facing out. It's really your choice. Pull those abs in. Now, we're gonna reach forward with your left hand. I'm gonna to come to reverse warrior. So bring your right arm behind your right leg and left hand to the ceiling. Try though not to sink into your right knee. Pull your right knee back. If you want, straighten your left leg. And we're gonna to come to hot angles. So bring your left arm inside your thigh. Fingertips are not gonna to touch the mat. Take a moment to stack your shoulders and reach in opposite directions. Pull those abs in. Pull your right knee back. When reaching from your sternum out, reach right, reach left. Then we take your left hand forward. We're gonna flip it. Here's a reverse warrior. Give it a good stretch. We're gonna bring your hands down inside of your left foot. Both sides toes facing forward, so pivot. Here's lower lunge. We're gonna step back to plank because you knew it was coming. Here's a slight drop. Press back to plank. We're gonna come seven eighths of the way down. So what does that look like? Feel free to come to your knees. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your legs straight. Keep your body strong. We're gonna come all to your hovering. This is hovering tabletop for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna press back to the plank. I'm gonna try to keep your core strong. Back and down, be some dog. We're gonna come forward to plank. Elbows are checking us like drops. Back to plank. Seven eighths of the way down. So squeeze your glutes. Keep your torso strong. Hover for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna press back to plank. Down facing dog. We're gonna come down to our knees, big toes together, back into child's pose. So just drop your sit bones back, find your child. We're gonna tuck your toes under, back and down facing dog. We're gonna walk your feet to join your hands. So walk your feet forward, just forward fold near the top of your mat. Then we're gonna walk your hands up, make your way to mountain. We're gonna turn over your right shoulder, no matter really matter what. And we're gonna walk the feet out. Turn your toes, so you're kind of pointed towards the corners of your mat. Bring your hands are at center, press your palms together, and trying to have your forearms parallel off the mat, so you're not dropping. Really engage your chest and your shoulders. Now we're gonna drop your sit bones down. Not back, but down. Knees wanna to track towards the second and third toe. So reposition your feet, holding that squat. Here is a prayer squat position. Pull your belly button in and roll your shoulders back. And sink through those hips. Holding for five here, four, Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna slowly press up. We're gonna bring your fingertips to your right, your left, arms are long, roll your shoulders back, and then add that squat. Think about your knees are tracking. Try not to roll forward. Holding here, here is sun goddess. Appropriate because it's beautiful today. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. We're in hell coming up. Exhale, we're gonna come into prayer squat. Inhale, coming up. Sun goddess, sun your breath out. Inhale, coming up. Prayer squat, on your breath out. 
Inhale, coming up. Sun goddess for a moment here. We're gonna hold here for a moment. Think about your knees are tracking. Sink through your hips. Inhale, coming up. We're gonna hold prayer squat. So just think about your knees, shoulders back. Now, we're gonna keep your right foot booted. We're gonna lift your left heel off the mat. So really using your calf muscles here. We have five to go. Four, three, two, and one. Root your left heel and bring your right heel off the mat. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Plant your root heel, right heel. Inhale, slowly come up. We're gonna turn your toes out. Reach your fingertips to your right, your left. Roll your shoulders back and hinge. Take your hands and try to grab the outside of your feet or the outside of your shins. Let your rooting the outside of your feet and lift your sit bones up. You should grab yes and no. Then we're gonna slowly bring your fingers out to your sides. A lot of core, we slowly bring yourself up. Take your right foot to join your left arms overhead. Hands at heart center. And then make your way down to, into mountain. So here, we're gonna turn a face so you've got the length of your mat in front of you. We're gonna do five sets of these so you know what's coming. So we're gonna start mounting towards the back of your mat. I'm gonna walk those hands down just to build a little heat here. Walk those hands down, we're gonna start in forward fold. Take a look at the top of your mat. We're gonna walk the hands forward. Make your way to plank. We're gonna do a slight drop. Press back to plank. There's four point staff. We're gonna draw it back into child's pose. We're gonna tuck your toes under, back and down facing dog. We're gonna walk those hands back to join your feet. We're gonna sit back in a chair. So find the chair. We're gonna press up to tall mountain. Wick or without a back bend. And start center. We're gonna walk those hands down for forward fold. Take a look at the top of your mat. We're gonna walk those hands forward into plank. Here's a slight drop. Press back to plank. Four point stack, feel free to come to your knees. Big toes together, back in the child's pose. We're gonna tuck your toes under, back and down facing dog. Walk those hands back to join your feet. So as many hand steps as you need. We're gonna sit back in a chair. So find your chair, heads above your heart, heads above your tailbone. And we're gonna press up to tall mountain, with or without a back bend. And to our center. There's forward fold. Take a look at the top of your mat. We're gonna walk those hands forward, back into plank. I think this is our third plank. We're gonna do a slight drop. Press back to plank. Four point staff, come on all the way down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Big toes together, back into child's pose. Tuck those toes under, back and down, facing dog. We're gonna walk those same hands back to join your feet. Forward fold. We're gonna sit back in the chair. So find your chair. Come on, sink through your hips. We're gonna press up to tall mountain. With or without a back bend. And to our center. Swan deck, walking those hands down for forward fold. Take a look at the top of your mat. We're gonna walk your hands forward. Finding your plank, a slight drop. Press back to plank. There's four point staff, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Big toes together, back in the child's pose. I think we've got one more to finish it out. So we're gonna tuck your toes under, back and down facing dog. Walk those hands back to join your feet. So as many hand steps as you need. Forward fold for a moment. Then sitting back in a chair. Find your chair. Here, press up to tall mountain. With or without a back bend. And dark center. Swan dive down. We're going to do the last one. So forward fold. Take a look at the top of your mat. You're going to walk your hands forward into plank. So find your plank. Slight drop. Press back to plank. There's four point staff. Come on, squeeze your triceps. All the way on the mat. Big toes together, back into child's pose. We're gonna tuck your toes under, back into downward facing dog. We're gonna walk those hands back to join your feet. As many hand steps as you need. We're gonna sit back in a chair, high spec. Sitting back in a chair, you can hear her. Sitting back in a chair. And then we're gonna press up to tall mountain, with or without a back bend. And start center, and make way to mountain. So from mountain, hey, from mountain, we're gonna walk those hands back down, forward fold for a moment, we're gonna bend your knees, and then walk those hands forward into plank. So from plank, we're gonna come down to our knees, and we're gonna roll ourselves over onto our backs. So coming onto our backs, we're gonna bring those knees into your chest, and just easy rocking, rolling from side to side. 
we're gonna reach around and grab it and make a circle with your big toes or grab the inside of your feet, so your choice. And then we're gonna let your feet just fall away from midline. Now, if you've got your big, big toes, that's dead bug, press your big toes into your fingers. And what we're doing is we're gonna stretch out the inner thighs. Try to roll your shoulders back. Again, happy baby is grabbing inside your feet. So wherever you are, we're gonna let your breath out. Taking a big breath in here, and then big breath out. Challenge it, ease into it. And then we're gonna slowly bring those feet together. We're gonna bring your knees into chest, and for the last time, easy rock and rolling. We're gonna extend one leg out, followed by your right feet, fall away from midline, hands down to your sides. And just take a moment to connect with your breath. And simply breathing in and breathing out. Be aware how you feel. Trying to remain still, but be mindful of that breath, the presence of your mat. side into pose of the unborn child and then we're gonna roll bring yourself up to a seated position we're gonna cross your legs hands are gonna come to heart center and namaste thank you for participating in yoga today hopefully the sound was all right just a reminder don't forget to subscribe to everyday life yoga with Kim hit the notifications and if you like the video like it have a fabulous day